Yo, what is up my Knights of the Round Table and welcome back to Fight Night with your boy the Knight. So we got another death battle. This is Black Canary versus Sindel from Mortal Kombat DC Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. This be a part 2, I guess. I don't know who to go for. I think Sindel has a advantage power-wise. I mean, I think Canary has an advantage power-wise. I think I said Sindel, but I think Sindel has advantage with surprise attacks. I'm going to pull for Black Canary. I love Mortal Kombat, but I think Black Canary has too many advantages. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry that the last death battle is one minute long. Uh, YouTube has copyrighted it, and I'm going back and forth with them trying to fix it. So bear with me here. Jesus. It's a trope we're all familiar with. The damsel in distress crying for help. Uh, yeah, Wiz, don't think that's the case here, because these two are the opposite. If you ever hear their cry, you're dead. Black Canary, the blonde bare knuckle brawler of DC Blonde Bombshell. And Sindel, the literal scream queen from Mortal Kombat. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Behold, the Justice Society of America. The Earth first two. recorded team of superheroes in the DC Universe. Where else could you find a boxer in a cat suit chilling with the spirit of God's divine wrath? And among these men and gods stood a woman, the judo-chopping Black Canary. Wait. Why a canary? Canaries don't know judo? Or do they? However, this is not the Black Canary we'll be focusing on today. See, the Black Canary of the Golden Age may have been a skilled crime fighter in her own right, but the one who made the moniker a household name was her daughter, Dinah Laurel Lance. Yep. Dinah wanted to be a crime fighter just like her mom, so she trained with Wildcat, the, the furry boxer I mentioned earlier. <laughs> her mother he wasn't very angry about that, though. Young Dinah's career could have ended then and there, if not for the discovery of what she likes to call her canary cry. Cases such as these weren't ordinary, but well explained. See, Dinah possessed the metagene, a dormant slice of genetic code present in about 12% of humanity granting superhuman abilities. Yeah, Wizard did it. With her new power and martial arts training, Dinah took up her mother's mantle and became Black Canary, the second one. Is it weird that her mom was also named Dinah? They were really forming a dynasty. <laughs> Fun fact, originally she disguised herself by donning a blonde wig, but eventually right. just dyed it permanently. Blonde? Don't you mean yellow? Uh... Regardless, the canary cry I is no that pun. By emitting focused ultrasonic sound, Dinah can annihilate the eardrums of anyone nearby. Or just ramp up the volume and blow people away with shockwaves. She can even stop a runaway train. It's quite versatile, too. She can focus her cries into small sonic projectiles or broaden them to affect entire cities. And by screaming hard enough at the ground, she can freaking fly. How the hell does that shit work? Let's dig into this for a bit. For a sound wave to become a shockwave, it must possess an intensity of at least 194 decibels. For reference, the right. Canary's highest recorded scream clocks in at over 300 decibels. Woo. That's the same level of bold as a volcano erupting. All that power comes with a fairly obvious weakness, though. If her throat is damaged, she'll be unable to produce the cry. That's why she's got some nifty ultrasonic canary bombs to do the super shouting for her. Not to say she's useless without her superpower, of course. She's yeah. one of comics' greatest ass kickers. Thanks to Wildcat and her mother, Dinah has trained in jiu-jitsu, karate, krav maga, capoeira, and many, many more styles of martial arts. She knows holes that can put you to sleep, a punch that can detonate your heart, and even how to cause instant death by pushing a single nerve cluster. She's basically the furious, blood-soaked love child of Kenshiro and the bride from Kill Bill. <laughs> also, before we go on, all this kung fu talk makes me want to see a judo canary in action. And what better opponent than our very own Mega Goose Howard? Uh, did you teach it judo? <laughs> Yeah. What was the heads up on that one, Wiz? <laughs> Even with all that, Dinah's greatest strength is I'm perhaps amazed his head, really? ability to learn and adapt mid-fight. It's what makes her such a great sparring partner to superhuman martial arts masters like Wonder Woman. It was during a fight with her, in fact, that Black Canary claimed she could perceive time down to the nanosecond. 
Sounds crazy, right? But believe it, how else could she keep up with someone like Wonder Woman? Yeah, it's really fast. She battled these red tornado androids. Green Lantern was using his power ring to stand for weaknesses. But Diana said, if that and stand it hundreds of times super fast, she found its literal Achilles heel before the power ring finished standing. That's right, she outsped an alien supercomputer. Keep in mind, Diana does not technically possess superhuman speed or strength. But I wouldn't be surprised if she secretly yeah. trapped some super soldier serum at some point, cause she can outmuzzle superhumans and smash steel like it's flimsy wood. Given the yield strength of steel and the size of her elbow, Diana must have exerted a force of around 27 tons. Woo! She now survived a fall into the ocean from a thousand feet, and even her own canary cry reflected back at her. It helps that she has a special membrane in her ears that protects her from shockwaves. Can't say the same for ah. robot, dude. Amazo! For Listen, her, they'll have that. With the combined powers of the entire Justice League, he sure could have packed some aspirin. She may be stubborn and hot-headed, but with her powers and training fine-tuned, Diana proved her mom wasn't the only Black Canary to be reckoned with. She even teamed up with groups such as the infamous Birds of Prey, and at one point took charge of the Justice League, the spiritual successor to the original Justice Society. Next to her main man, Green Arrow. They spent a lot of time sticking arrows in that quiver, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> they did sex. Long story short, Black Canary is without a doubt one of the most badass women in comic book history. <laughs> the realm of Edenia was a paradise. A Garden of Eden. Yeah, it was like beautiful for Shell Shell Khan came and fucked it Under up. Under the rule of King Jared and Queen Sindel, the realm prospered for millennia. Is that Katana? Until the arrival of Outworld Conqueror Shell Khan and the tournament of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> By the decree of the Elder Gods, an invading force from another realm must defeat the defending world ten consecutive times in a tournament to the death. Hey, fuck you. Don't be looking such girls ass like that. Show such girls the respect it deserves. To legitimize his rule, Khan Murder Jared, married Sindel, and Damn, adopted Sindel's her tall daughter shit. Katana as his own. Excessive? Probably. Needless to say, Cindy wasn't too happy about all that. But it turns out she was a kung fu sorcerer. So, to avenge her kingdom, she underwent a mystic ritual where she offed herself to protect Khan's next target, Earthrealm. And it worked! For a time, after 10,000 years of hopelessly failing to take the Earth, Khan learned how to undo her protective war. Sindel was resurrected, brainwashed, and transformed into a fierce queen of dark magic and terror. She was back and ready to slay, and holy shit did she! Sindel's Edenian physiology gives her superhuman strength, speed, and durability, allowing her to make mincemeat of Mortal Kombat's regular combatants. You better have said that with a K. And despite being dead for the past oh, yeah. 10,000 years, she's Let's somehow a master of two forms of Chinese Kung Fu. Zha Quan originates from northern China and is known for its eloquent, graceful, extended movements. Fu Zhao Pai, also known as the Tiger Claw System, focuses on fast, powerful strikes. Since they got tall, I just got resurrected. Quando. It's a claim designed for long range deflection and carving people up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Though she hardly needs a weapon when she already has one her hair. Yeah. She can command it to stretch like a tentacle, constrict opponents, and act essentially as an extra prehensile limb. Not gonna lie, Wiz, that's, uh, kinda hot. Oh, would you still think so if she used it to spin you like a top fast enough to obliterate your body? What a way to go. Okay, well, all <laughs> that pales in comparison to her signature ability. Reminds me of a guy in our group chat. He probably would like that. It's a doubt of killing. This ultrasonic shout is powerful enough to detonate heads, split limbs, and rend flesh. Her screaming power can even be focused into mystical fireballs of destruction called Star Screamer. Oh, like that Transformer that we had that pony eat his soul! No. Sindel once screamed with enough force to annihilate a large part of a canyon. This resembles the effects of a magnitude 5.0 earthquake, comparable to nearly 500 tons of TNT exploding all at once. With power like that, it's no wonder she was able to strut through Earthrealm's mightiest heroes, which include our old pal, Sub-Zero! What a gift is a Hey! Who, along with most of the series' combatants, can shatter a block of pure diamond with his bare hand. The hell, man? I feel like this would require a pressure of at least 60 gigapascals. Hey, I like the MKX mass, though. 4,300 tons of force per square inch. This and is best the ball, look. who is fast enough to swap machine gun fire Come out of the air, like the flies in Boomstick's bathroom. Accurate. Judging by the likely muscle velocity and rate of fire, Cabal must have been reacting within 600 seconds. 
in order to Got consistently parry these bullets. And he parked a bunch of them back to back to back. Too bad Sindel wound up getting blown up and brainwashed all over again. Man, this chick can't catch a break. Though the zombie mail thing's kind of working for her. Well, that's only one possible say zombie time. Mail. In the original story, she was actually freed from Shao Kahn and regained control of Denia. In another, it seems the killing of her royal husband was actually her plan all along. Either way, we're talking about Mortal Kombat. They all die eventually. But compared to the Queen, everyone else might as well have been silent. All right, the combat. Oh, got an ad. I knew we would. Yeah, I hate that there's no yellow bars to tell you like when the ad's coming anymore. Why'd they do away with that? All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all... Scooby-Doo meets Fight Club. <laughs> Enough of this far, Sir Thrilma. Behold your queen! I shall strip the flesh from your bones. Why does the like have an afro? Not the hair. With the hair back and forth. Oh. Oh. Are you hurt, child? Let me sing you a lullaby. No kidding. I almost fell asleep. Oh, he's gonna cancel out. I think Canary's cry is stronger. nanosecond reaction, Dinah's reaction speed was easily 60 million times faster, and with oh, her wide array of martial arts abilities, she certainly capitalized on this. Sure, Sindel had some awesome moves, but I thought Canary had an advantage. people like a hot dominatrix doesn't quite stack up when Black Canary mastered way more fighting styles. Plus, she's been training all her life. Adenia was super peaceful before Shao Kahn came along, yep. so I doubt Sindel was taking names and kicking ass all before that. But let's move on to the comparison everyone wants to know. Which was deadlier, the Banshee Scream or the Canary Cry? Canary Cry. We know Dinah's Cry could reach 300 decibels. In comparison, the results of Sindel's most powerful scream are similar to a 5.0 earthquake, which is equivalent to only 235 decibels. I know what you're thinking. That's a difference of only 65 decibels. That can't be all that different. Wrong! Pretty. It's totally different, because decibels are freaking weird. See, decibels are not like meters or minutes, which scale geometrically. Instead, decibels scale logarithmically. 
for every 10 decibels of sound is, its intensity increases tenfold. So 30 decibels is 10 times greater than 20 decibels, 40 is 10 times greater than 30, and so on. So every increase yeah. multiplies the sound instead of just adding to it. Wait a minute. That means the canary cry would be about a billion times stronger than the banshee scream, nearly 500 megatons of TNT. Awesome. The closest real life comparison we can make is the Krakatoa eruption of 1883, a volcano blast so powerful it could be heard over 3,000 miles away. Not so different from what Dinah has been shown to be capable of. True. It also didn't hurt that Canary had those special membranes in her ears to guard against the screen. That's what I thought gave her a good in advantage. In the end, Canary had the speed, skill, and raw decibels to finish her. It was Sindel's time to die. No. What, no pun about screams? Well, I was gonna, but I thought a pun that obvious wouldn't be allowed. The winner is Black Canary. I dig that pun. Okay, hey, who's next? Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, please click the link in the description below and check out this other stuff we do. Oh my god. No! No, my two loves! No, I can't pick! No! 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 You have caught in between me two great loves! You know that reference. Patched up in the back, but damn it! I don't know who to go for! Okay, February 23rd, we're gonna see who wins. I don't know who to pull for. Damn, it's too close for me. Uh, guys, what did you guys think? I thought Canary's Cry was uh, predominantly stronger than Sindel's because Sindel's has never really sh been shown the, like, you know, you know, it's been shown to break bones, blast apart skin, but in, in the uh, cave, but it's never been shown to do the shit since, like Canary's has been shown, like break metal and shit like that. Concrete pillars, you know, like Canary's Cry I knew was without a doubt more powerful. I, I figured she was a little bit better in hand to hand, but I knew Sindale's hair was a good advantage because it was a good surprise attack that Canary ain't really seen before. And I think this was a fair death battle. I think this was a good outcome. They really covered a lot of the facts and really covered why Canary would win. You know, they really they gave Sindale a fair chance. Like they they admitted, you know, Sindale could do a lot of things, but she was just not on Canary's level. Sure, Sindel's older, but she didn't spend those 10,000 years kicking ass. She was dead for most of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you guys think, who you got for the next battle. And as always, my knights, I will see you in the next video.